a top contender for biggest stressor in the military. It's a PCS. The Military Money Show is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Since 1975, Charles Schwab has been helping people achieve better financial outcomes for themselves and their families. You can learn more about Charles Schwab and the work they do at schwab.com. Hey, welcome to the Military Money Show, where I help the military community make, save, and invest money wisely. I'm your host, Lacey Langford, the Military Money Expert. A PCS will test your marriage, religion, and your sanity. Moving is a hallmark of military life. It's in the job description. Active duty service members can PCS upwards of 10 times during their military career. All that transition can be stressful not only for the service member, but for the entire family. How can you better prepare for the moves you know are coming? Christine Carroll, or better known as C.C. Gallagher, is here to talk about how to reduce the stress in your PCS. We trade some of our favorite PCS stories in this show and talk about a tool she developed to help others organize and prepare for their next military move, making it easier and less stressful. Here it is, my chat with Cece. Hey, Cece, welcome to the show. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for having me. What a pleasure and honor it is to be with you this morning. Thank you. I'm excited to talk about this. Everybody on the show knows I complain a lot about PCSing. And not that I don't enjoy or I didn't enjoy it. It's just there's some things that come with it that can be stressful. So this is going to be a good conversation. Yes. I have sneaking suspicions why you did it. But what made you create this stressless PCS kit? Oh, I feel like it was simply out of pure frustration from moving so many times. So our family, we've moved six times in the last 10 years. And there was one particular move from Colorado where we had to downsize by about two thirds of our house. And we were going to the National Training Center out in California for the RR. We are a part of an army family. And so I had to get very strategic in terms of how many boxes we're moving from from one room to the next and what that looks like in terms of space and, of course, the amount of pounds that we're allowed to pack on the truck. It was very strategic on that move. And while we were out at Fort Irwin, California, I said, that's it. I'm starting to create a labeling system. I'm going to invest some time and money and work with someone who can help me design this product and launch it. And so that's what I did when we found out we were going from Fort Irwin to Fort Bliss, Texas, where we are now. I worked through the process of creating it, developing it, and executing what that looks like in terms of organizing rooms and our kids' rooms, our kitchen, our dining room, and so forth. And we made it here in El El Paso, and it was very efficient. So for me, it's putting structure and organization in a process that seems so out of control for many of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have so many questions. Let me start with what exactly does it look like, the PCS kit? Is it just a labeling system? No. Inside of the kit, there are 240 box labels. They identify eight different room types within your home and up to 12 different spaces. So you may have multiple bedrooms or multiple bathrooms and you can label that accordingly. Also in the kit, you'll have 12 die cut door hangers. So you just showed the hanger. It says place label here. So this is your label. Yes. Not one of the moving company labels. No, this is completely separate and truly supposed to be a different system, if you will. You can label and organize your boxes and it kind of gives you a little bit more freedom in doing that. So if I show you what the kitchen label looks like, there's eight different color-coded rooms that have icons that identify what room type it is. And then on each of the labels, you have space to include property of, so your last name or first name. If your box is lost, who the next person contacts, if they're PCSing to your same location or a different one, you can also place where you're moving to And then there's a section that allows you to place any additional notes for contents. Because what I've noticed through our multiple moves, I'll go behind them and place additional notes on the boxes because I can't read their handwriting. 
we've had families who have been stationed overseas who have used the product and said, well, it's not in English. So I'm actually using this as like a labeling identification system. So I know when we get back to the States, what's in it. So it gives you flexibility there. And then at the bottom of the labels, it allows you to place the priority to open. Do you need to open it now or can it wait for later? Because you know, just as much as I do, when you have the hundreds of boxes that are coming off of a truck, it can be so overwhelming to figure out, okay, where is it going to and do I need to open it now or can it wait another week or two for me to actually approach it? So that's an example of a label. And then also in each of the kits, you'll get directions. There's a whole outline to my system in madness, but really it follows the process of prepping, packing, placing the labels, receiving and relaxing. So prep, pack, place, receive and relax. And on the back of the instruction sheet, you will see your room chart. So on the room chart, you can identify again, like what rooms your boxes are going to you can quantify how many boxes that are going to each of those places. You can forecast the floor number if you have a multi-story home. And one of the best parts about this is we have a label specific for pro gear. As a working spouse, I'm sure you have equipment that has moved with you with your profession. And so you can place the amount of boxes and the amount of pounds. And I think for spouses, at least in the army, it's up to 500 pounds of pro gear that I can move as a dependent for my work since I work remotely. And I can separate that with my service number. So that's a little bit about the kids. So 240 labels, eight different room categories. There's 12 door hangers. There's a room chart and you have the instruction sheets and it will come completely shrink wrapped and in a flat rate envelope directly to your door. So I will ship it to you from our home to yours. <laughs> so the labels that are hanging on the door, is that for when you're moving in for the movers to know where to take that box? Great question. Okay, so how it works is it's on both sides of the move. So if I were to PCS, what I would do is I would figure out what rooms I wanted labeled what, right? So if I have two boys... If I had two separate bedrooms for them, I would label one Henry and one Graham. And on the door hanger, I would place the bedroom label here and I would place Henry on it. And I would also place any notes that I wanted revolving around Henry's room on here. So after they pack up and after I place my color coded labels on here, then I will take these door hangers and literally put them in my work bag or purse or suitcase. And then as the movers come to our next home, I will strategically the night before, if I have that time or that morning, place these on the rooms that I want the corresponding boxes to go to. We did that on this last move from Irwin to Bliss. And I cannot tell you how efficient it was, especially as like my husband's trying to in process. My toddler kids are running everywhere and it's, you know, I'm just trying to create a little bit more ease and direction without actually having to be everywhere at one time. I'm sure the movers appreciate that because yeah. <laughs> that's annoying to them too, to always have to ask, where does this go? Where does this go? Where does this go? Instead of basically just breaking it down when they're starting out, hey, this is where certain things are going to go. Right. How does this work with partial ditties or PPMs? Yeah. Because I know I grew up in the military. I served, you know, my husband served. We definitely had a system. Yes. Like clockwork. Like when we packed up, we were very clear on what we would take. We had like a standard kit that would ditty with us that would be our toaster oven. Yeah. <laughs> All bedding for everybody, an air mattress for everybody, pillows for everybody. Yes. We would have a basic toolkit, like screwdriver, wrench, things like that. Yeah. And so we were able to actually stay in the home before our household goods were received. That was always our goal, to get out of a hotel as soon as possible, because with small children, that will drive you batty. Yes, batty <laughs> So can you use the system with that? Absolutely. Whether it's a Diddy PPM or you're having the military move you, absolutely. I've had several families use these during their ditty this last year. We just launched in 2020. It allowed them to take their time while packing and it gave them the system to label their rooms and figure out how they wanted to pack their items. And although it takes a little bit longer 
obviously to pack yourself and get it in the U-Haul or whatever that may look like, or if you're doing a partial ditty, it just gives you flexibility to label it yourself and put your own mark on it, which I found was difficult without a system like this. So I know a lot of families who will use duct tape and Sharpie markers, and that's everything that I used before. I felt like I spent hundreds of dollars just prepping for a move for these folks to come in and pack our things. And so that was really the push to get to the point where I'm like, all right, I'm going to create my own labeling system. The funny thing was, as I started to develop this, I had other friends who were like, hey, can you make me a kit too? Can you create that and just get us an example kit so we can use it through our move? And so that's really how it started to grow. And when we were PCSing from Irwin here to Bliss, our good friends who lived two blocks away, they were going to South Korea. So their move looked way different than ours because they had items going into long-term storage. They could only pack 8,000 pounds to go overseas. And so they had multiple facets to that move and they used it and they loved it because on the other side, the crew that was unpacking, they didn't speak English. And so they can follow colors, they can follow icons and the system and process regardless of where you're going around the world. So that was neat. I like the part to the priority because that really is important. I think, again, everybody has their system. Like ours is always beds first. No matter how exhausted, beds will always go at first. That was before kitchen, anything. So at least we could get our kids to bed in a comfortable environment. And then it was kitchen. So it was like beds, then kitchen. And there were certain things in the kitchen that you need. You don't need to get out your Christmas plates right away. You need to get out just like the regular things. And so I like that you can prioritize the boxes that you unpack. But as a seasoned military spouse, do the packers really listen to the system? I know I've put up labels like don't pack this entire room and they've helped themselves to packing it right. or they've packed the bathroom when that was clearly labeled don't pack. Oh. So do they listen to your system? Here's my thought process and what I have heard. And then, of course, like what our experience was this last year moving because you're invested in it. At least our moving crew, I know they're different everywhere you go, whether they're packing you out or unpacking you on the other side but they were grateful to have the involvement because sometimes we'll just sit back, right? They tell you, don't touch anything, don't pack anything, just sit and just observe and watch everyone. And if there are concerns, obviously contact your point of contact on the installation or, or you know, wherever you're going to. I noticed, and many other people have commented on this, that with the investment of time and interest and it actually explaining a process to them, they appreciated that because they're not just showing up. They're like, okay, we have, they now have goals and they now have a system to follow. So I would say, yes, like showing that investment, showing that interest. And if it's your staff, you want to be involved in it and not just sit back and be a, a party in the background. You know, it's, it gives you a, a motive to be actively engaged more. I also think communication is good with everything. And this is part of the communication plan is to let them know this is how I would like things packed up and organized. And because even, for example, I would always communicate, hey, this is my grandmother's table. If you mess it up, this is something I'm going to make a stink about. Yeah. So just heads up. Right. Like, you know, be super careful carrying this one out. I would like you to take care of everything, but this one, just so you know, will be taking up the chain right. if it is damaged. And so they were crystal clear, like extra care needs to be given to Lacey's grandmother's table. Like that's how it should be. And so I think this is good to put out the expectations of how things should go down and it relieves stress from the packers and the movers. It's curious so that you're talking about it is why the Department of Defense doesn't have a system like this. I get they have a system already, yeah. you know, with the stickers. And and at this point, the stickers have been around so long. Oh, my gosh. I think I would be heartbroken if they changed the stickers. But <laughs> right. Do so you ever see those on, like, Pinterest or Facebook where, like, all the colored stickers make a ball and an ornament? I'm there. I'm still finding things that are color-coded from years ago. So, yes. <laughs> but no labels. As far as what DOD has... They don't have something like this. It could be a great investment to put a process like this in place. But yeah, they just have the stickers. And I know they're subcontracting out to multiple, multiple moving companies. And, and to create that systematic communication and really system for the family and for the moving company would be a great benefit. 
So maybe one day we'll get there. <laughs> yes. I've told this story. So my listeners are probably like, oh, but new listeners may have not heard it. But I one time got in an argument with the movers because they were trying to do something. And the gentleman said, hey, look, Uh-oh. I move people for a living. And I responded very quickly. I was like, hey, look, I get moved for a living. So you're not going to be out there on the other end when this is all getting unpacked. And so you're not understanding what it's like to be on the receiving end of a poor move. Uh, And so that's what I was trying to communicate. My thing was all yard tools have to be in a box. Right. Because what would happen is you put a sticker on a rake and when you PCS normally in the summer, you're not looking for a rake. So if it's missing, you don't notice it until a few months later when it's fall. Yeah. So this was the thing. Hey, you need to have a box, two long boxes, turn them together, tape them. However you need to do it, put them all in one box. And that was my personal preference. But that was also after years of experience when missing a rake. And for us, that was financially difficult. Every time replacing two or three yard tools starts to add up every move, especially if you're moving every two years. Our PCS out of Benny, we were only there for six months. You know, that's difficult to replace things. So I think it's good to have a system, but it also makes me think, what about seasoned spouses? Is the PCS kit good for them? Because I'm telling you how particular I was. Absolutely. (laughs) Yes. I would say it's helpful for whatever phase of military life that you're in. And I'm with you. I'm very particular. I mean, I created a color coding set because I was getting so frustrated with kitchen items in my bedroom, pillowcases, you know, and people mixing things. And so I would say there's a good handful of seasoned spouses and not older, but just like more experienced spouses who have moved multiple, multiple times over the years who are actually purchasing this because it gives them the framework and they don't have to spend the time developing it themselves. They don't have to put the poster board together with the colored duct tape and the colored Sharpie markers and print their names off on Avery labels to stack them, you know, put them on every box. It's already here. It's pre-made, it's pre-organized, and it ships directly to your house. So I feel like anything that saves me time, and obviously spouses who have done this a time or two, that's that's where you want to be. Like, what's a product that can help me save time, alleviate stress? Put a system in place that everyone can understand, especially our service members who may not be there for one side or the other or both. So yeah, I think it is very helpful no matter what phase of life you're in, in the military. Yeah. It's also helpful if somebody else is helping out. That was my thing. I always had all my military spouse friends over and be like, look, you guys know, you know the deal, like you know the drill. So I'm going to get us lunch. We'll have an awesome lunch, but I need you to help man rooms because I swear my husband was never there. Like it always like out processing or something came up or in processing that he was not there a lot. But one time our pack out got changed. And so I actually was traveling for work and I couldn't be there. And to me, That was very difficult to let control of all of my stuff being packed up and taken. And thankfully, my in-laws came and helped out with that. But I was very clear on my system. Looking back, it was probably just a total gift to just walk out the door and be like, we'll see it on the other end. (laughs) No matter what, the things will show up on the other side. Yes. I agree. I've helped a neighbor because we were in Colorado Springs and her husband was deployed and she was on a work trip and her kids were with their family. And so their move out date got switched. And so I sat in her house and I'm kicking myself. I wish I had this product several years ago just to help her so she would know what was coming to her on the other side. But isn't that such a a unique thing that we face? And thank goodness for the strong community because We understand how it is, one, to be solo during a move, and also in cases like yours, not being available to even be there. I love how our community just wraps its arms around our neighbors and our units, and we understand we're going to be there for you. It's very unique, and and I, I feel very fortunate to be part of it. Yes. I think another benefit of having fellow military spouses around is they can be a more calming force because if somebody's messing up your personal belongings, 
it gets a little bit passionate. Like, why are you doing this? And instead to just be like, hey, I'm going to need you to explain to them why this is upsetting me so greatly. Because, you know, when you're in the emotion of it all, it sometimes comes out the wrong way instead of being like, no, look, this one particular item has been broken five times, you know, and been repaired. And so this one thing you're, you know, throwing around is upsetting or whatever it is. We have a really nice antique valet of my husband's to hang his uniform on and drawers for his pocket knives or whatever. And it has literally been broken five times, but we've repaired it, you know, the wood, put it back together. And it's just, I feel like it's stronger than ever now from all the repairs, (laughs) but it's, but it's just those little things that if you have never been moved so frequently or been involved in that, you don't understand the emotional side of it. Also the humor, like whenever we think about it, we just laugh because it's like, how is that thing still functioning? Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. We, I don't have a unique story like that as far as the valet. And I love the idea of getting that though. I think that would be so useful and, and handy. It's a great gift item for service members for their uniforms. It's a really useful tool. I'll have to ask you where you got it after we get off of here. But I hear you on the fact of, things that are moving and getting broken several times and then investing the time and research, obviously on the back end to get it fixed. And especially if it's something so special to your family or an heirloom of sorts. So yeah, it's a tough move. My grandfather once told me never get attached to materialistic things. And as hard as that is, I think about that every time we move and I'm like, Oh, it's just a couch. Like it's just a couch. It's not my child. It's not my husband. Like if a leg breaks off, we're going to be just fine. It's not life and death. So I've started to like repeat that in my mind. Don't get attached to materialistic things or anything that can break, you know, but it's hard. It's hard to move. It's hard to move your items in different homes and try to figure out what works best for your family and especially for spouses. And even you served before. So probably making that transition into the life of a spouse, right? While supporting your service member or juggling children in daycares and schools and new school districts and just everything starts over as we go. And so it's the reinvention of ourself and our family and figuring out what that looks like constantly. So at least if this kit can give you something to streamline a process out of all of that turmoil that's happening, hopefully it will be helpful for a little part of that move that you have. I think so. Just improving your efficiency. I think that is something that we always strive for was each time, maybe we're just competitive, but we were always trying to improve our time to set up, you know, to say, hey, we have this house up and running. Our kids have their toys, their beds, their rooms, their environment. So the quicker we could turn that around, that we could get to start living again and to start feeling normal and already getting involved in the community. So having a system in place is important. But if you already have a kit that's just handed to you to be like, hey, this is a system, especially for new military spouses. It's just every season spouse is like, oh, just come here. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Save your curtains. Save your rugs. Make sure you do all this stuff. You have all of these things that you've learned that you're trying to pass on. So I think this kit is a starter, you know, just to jump start, especially a first PCS to be like, look, if you don't know what you're doing, this is a good outline for you to start doing it. Although I am going to go ahead and lobby for a red flag sticker. Yeah. You know, just say, hey, mess this up. It's going to make me angry. Okay. <laughs> you know? I'm going to write it's that just... down. Like fragile, <laughs> yes. but yes. just make it the size of the box or like the, right. you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> it's a red flag. Like this one will get emotional if, if it's, you know, messed up or. You just said something I want to reiterate. I think it was so important. Once you move into your new home or apartment, whatever that looks like on the other side, like starting to live, what the kit does is, like you said, it creates efficiencies. But the other piece I noticed, and many military families might not know this, but the moving company can unpack you. Like that's part of the contract. If you want them to, whether it's a partial unpack or a full unpack, they will do that. Again, like as you set up your strategy to move, And for us here, I had them unpack our kitchen, which I feel like has the most boxes and wrapping paper ever. And I had them unpack our bedrooms. 
So we were able to split forces, right? And as they put all of the boxes in, I stay in the kitchen and I go in and I'll put post-it notes on the cabinets. This is how crazy I get. And so I'll put dishes and cups and mugs and coffee nook or whatever it is that's important to us, crock pots or instant pots. And I'll label it all before all the boxes come in. And so literally I am shoving stuff in the cabinets as they're unpacking it. And then all those boxes are out of my house. And so I don't have to look at them again. I don't have to trip over them. My toddler doesn't have to get hurt running over them. And I'm not, you know, worried about all of that. So if you haven't had them unpack, or if you're thinking about it, maybe it's not the whole house. Maybe it's a section of your home that you know will help get you to live again, right? It's the kitchen or a bedroom or a bathroom. So just a tip. I love that. Because I think any military family does a countdown. It's like, I have 10 boxes left or I have five boxes left. Like you're, you're just waiting till you can say all the boxes are gone. Like that's a huge moment after a PCS is that we're done. They're out. And it's wonderful to get people to help. But sometimes I know I'm guilty of this. You're just exhausted. Like it's usually a long day. And it seems like they time it. So it's like five o'clock. It's like, do I still want them here? (laughs) Like you're at that point, like, you know, (laughs) we need you out of our space. But getting that kitchen done, I totally agree, is the biggest hurdle in a move because it does have the most boxes, the most packing paper, but you need to use it as quickly as possible because you've probably already been eating out for at least a few days, probably a week or two, if you were you know, in a hotel on the other end. And so having your kitchen back and getting, again, back to that living part, I think is so important. But I like that idea. It saves you time if you have somebody else help and all of these things can save you money too. No, absolutely. And that's the other thing I found as you talk about saving money is like I said, I had spent so much money grabbing all the Sharpie markers and the duct tape rolls and the labels. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I kept spending it every single move, whether it was within a year or two years. And so really buying the kit is cost savings because you don't have to repeatedly buy those things for one move. And you never know if you're going to run out. And yeah, that's definitely a benefit. It's all right here for you. And it's coming straight to where your home is. And one question I always have is, can I ship to APO or FPO addresses even now? And so the answer is yes. So families overseas, I've shipped them to Germany and Korea and Japan. And it's just incredible. And I'm grateful to be part of the conversation and helping them. And I love when I get pictures from these families that are actively working the process. They send me great recommendations, just like yours with the red flag sticker of emotional, <laughs> emotional <laughs> things in your home. Emotional baggage. <laughs> <laughs> that we're taking with us, the emotional baggage, but also different ideas for labels. I had one family recommend garage labels and I have a storage label where you can mark whether it's an attic or basement or garage or long-term storage and short-term storage. The one family was like, can you please make a garage label? I'm like, yes, I can. I'm flexible because I want to create a product that people can use and they can, they will love it and it will help them. And so I'm always open for recommendations on what's going to make a move easier and better and faster. Yeah. It's just a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff when you're moving yourself. And that's one of the benefits of the military community is you do get to do a purge a lot and a reset that you get to clean house and be like, okay, hey, you know, that's, those clothes don't fit you. Those are three years old or that we've never put that decoration out for the whole time we've been here. So maybe we don't like it as much as we thought we did. (laughs) Oh, yes, We have on our website this downloadable PDF, but it goes through that process because we go through and purge. I feel like I go through seasons. We do it before we move. We do it after we move. I probably do it at the year mark, like I'm going through it right now where I'm like, okay, what can I declutter? But it talks about creating different spaces as you go room through room, whether it's donating the product, selling it or consigning it, tossing it or keeping it. And so it's important, at least for us, because you can accumulate so many things that you just don't even know about, right? And so it's important to do that constantly, but especially before you move. So you don't show up on the other side with things you don't need. So you can reuse the labels? Like, do you have to rebuy every time you move? How does that work? Because I know somebody's thinking that I was. Somewhat, yeah. Every kit comes with 240 labels. And so 
I've had spouses who are saving them for their next move. So if they don't have 10 to 15,000 pounds worth of things, you may have labels left over, right? You can keep them, you can store them, you can keep your door hangers, the room charts and everything, and you can absolutely use them again on the next move. If you need more labels, you can certainly purchase them from the website. It depends on how much stuff you have and what your space looks like and how many boxes that they're going to be packing. And the interesting thing is whenever the military, at least for us, they survey our house and they'll give the estimate of you have, you know, 8,000 pounds or 10,000 pounds that we're moving. They'll tell you an estimate of the number of boxes if you ask, at least the company I used last time did. So I had a rough estimate of, okay, we're moving this many pounds and this is how many boxes they're going to send with our packing crew. That was really helpful. And that kind of gave me a quantitative value to work off of. Wonderful. I think it's a great resource and tool for people to use. And this whole time I was thinking, what a great PCS present or Christmas present or new to the military present. It's it's a wonderful idea. Again, it's just an outline if you've never done a move before. And to be honest, I feel like it's a huge benefit to civilians because they... Actually, I have no idea. I know there are a lot of people that move frequently within the civilian community for their jobs as well. But for people that haven't moved a lot or in a very long time, this is a great tool because you have a clear system for being organized and just making it easier because, again, all those things that you don't realize you're walking into. So thank you for that. And hopefully in the future, we'll look at different product lines to service those. I mean, what better what better community to tell you how to move or give you a game plan for it than a community that moves so frequently. So yeah, I love that. Thank you. Okay. Well, I want to ask you a couple of quick random questions. One, what is one resource or tool that makes your life easier? You can't say the PCS kit. (laughs) No, I wouldn't. I love that question. I get that often from younger spouses or, or spouses within our community. I love military one source wholeheartedly. And there's two resources, actually three, that I'll throw out there right now that can be useful. They have career coaches for spouses. So whether you are an entrepreneur or you're looking to switch into the federal government or switch industries, they have coaches that will work with you through that process. They also have PCS consultants. So that's another thing. If you need someone to actually help walk you through the process, definitely call Military One Source. But my favorite, favorite tool that they have And personnel is is what they call a life coach, a health and wellness coach. And I've used the same person probably five or six times over our multiple moves. So whether that was calling her, we just had a new baby, like how do I reenter the workforce while my husband's still obviously still in the military, but juggling all the things as a new mom, or how do I properly set up my week so that I actually work out instead of just think about it and stress out because I don't. And so The life coach and the health and wellness coach will actually focus on those tangible goals and really be an accountability partner. So those are three different types of coaches that they offer, and they're all free. So call Military One Source and get yourself set up for success. The best kinds of tools and resources that can help you, the free ones. Those are wonderful. I'll be sure to put links to all of that. I think that is a great tool just to, I mean, just to have somebody to talk through it. Because a lot of times you don't want to tell fellow military spouses or family and friends because it's personal. You know, you just don't want to say those things. It's private. But sometimes you need to get off your chest and maybe saying it to your spouse is going to cause a huge fight (laughs) or something. Yes. And I would say one other type of resource that Military One Source offers is non-medical counseling. So that's a fourth type of consultant counselor that can help you say you're going through a tough time right now, or you're stressed out, your service members deployed or TDY, or right now, even during COVID, there's so many stressors going on in our life. So if you need help, do not wait to reach out, just call the 1-800 number and ask to speak to someone. I mean, you're only making yourself stronger and your family stronger by finding the help that you need. So whether it's a career coach or a life coach, a business coach, or even a counselor that you can just shoot ideas off of. I think it's it's great. I, I access all the resources all the time. I'd also like to throw out there, they do have free financial coaches as well. So that I've, yeah, yeah. Yes. those are sometimes in the links, but I'll put them in this week. So what is your favorite book right now or your favorite book of all time? Okay. So 
Right now, in the phase of life that we are in, young kids, both working, trying to navigate our world right now, I'm listening to a lot of books, so I'm not necessarily physically reading them. I put them on Audible, or not Audible, but another resource I want to give is that, at least for the Army, but MWR, they give you access to free books and Audible books through their platform. And so I can, Lacey, I can send you that information too, but I download all of the books for free there. But I'm listening a lot on personal development. So anything Brene Brown, love her, Daring Greatly, Rising Strong. I really like Laura Casey, who focuses on two different books. She has Cultivate, Make It Happen, but she also has developed a planner um, that people can use if you like hard copy planners. And then I think Sarah Knight is another author, but she's kind of hilarious, a little harsh in her language, but I can appreciate that. So just a lot of personal development right now. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. I would love the links to those. I'll put your MWR thing. That would be great. Well, it is time for my favorite part of the podcast, which is game time. And today we're going to play military word association. Very easy. I'm going to give you a few military words and you have to tell me what you think about it in one word. And since I've played this game before, I will also accept one noise. So sometimes people have a a verbal cue for how the word makes them feel. So I will accept that as well. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right. First one. PCS. Stressful. Okay. Deployment. Oh, um, exhausting. (laughs) That's a good word. Commissary. Busy. Yes. CDC or Child Development Center. Love them. Okay. Military balls. Planning. Lots of planning that goes into that. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't it? Does it? It's not only your outfit, it's their outfit as well. That requires probably the most planning. <laughs> Gosh, it's there. It's like the ribbons and the buttons. And then it's if you help set up the ball, it's planning the centerpieces or uh, yeah, it's just, there's a lot that goes into it. But I definitely love the pageantry and appreciate the events. I guess that's the other piece of it. It's a beautiful thing, but it, there's a lot that goes into those. It really is. It really is. Plus just the tradition, the things that they're doing, like dining in, dining out. There's all these things that go into it to make sure it's just right be sure it is has a lot of history in it so that is cool all right the last one is retirement Ooh, I, for us right now uh, unknown well getting closer <laughs> okay yes it's coming yeah. it's coming, <laughs> it's coming. Yes. i mean it, the, the transition and retirement eventually happens for everyone right so preparing for that and looking for how you can set your family up for success when it comes, because it will, is a big deal and and just being prepared. Yes, I agree. Well, thank you so much for playing the game and for coming on the show to talk about your PCS stressless kit. Can you tell everybody listening where they can learn more about you and what you're up to? Absolutely. So the stresslesspcskit.com is where you'll find information on it. We're on Instagram and Facebook. And the parent company, Military Quality of Life Consulting, you can check us out there at mqolc.com and we're on Facebook and LinkedIn. Wonderful. I'll be sure to put links to all of that in the show notes for everybody. Thank you so much, CC. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thanks to CC for coming on the show to talk about PCSing with me and for sharing her stressless PCS kit. Thank you to Charles Schwab for the work they do to help the military community achieve better financial outcomes and for supporting the Military Money Show. You can learn more at schwab.com. You can head over to lacylangford.com to get the show notes, links, and all the resources. Coming up next week on the Military Money Show, we'll be talking about setting your goals for 2021. I appreciate you listening, and I will talk to you next week.